today we pay tribute to the outstanding visionary leader that transformed the democratic alliance from a party of opposition to a party of government. We say thank you to the strong, principled and brave South African who is a passionate champion and defender of our country's constitution. To the true Democrat who dedicated her life to the goal of creating one South African nation with one future characterized by freedom, fairness and opportunity for all. On 6 May 2007, Helen Zilla was elected as leader of the Democratic Alliance at Gallagher Estate, Midrand. I was actually at the Congress where it happened, and I'll always remember the great celebration. There was a, a toy toy with Helen almost being carried, and I was really delighted that she could have that opportunity to lead the DA. We could not believe it when she escalated the way she did to become leader, and we, I mean, as a family, we couldn't have been more proud of her. The previous year, Helen had been elected mayor of Cape Town. Her strong leadership of a fragile seven-party coalition in Cape Town began to build the foundation of the DA's transformation to becoming a party of government. She had this dream that, you know, opposition must come together and we must build this alternative. It was Helen's strength of personality and the vision of the Open Opportunity Society for All that caused more and more of those coalition partners to actually say, we don't want to be coalition partners, we actually want to be part of the DA enterprise. And even after we started working together, Helen continued to talk to all the other opposition parties. Having seen her in action, having, you know, having worked with her, it became very clear that this is the party I want to be associated with. This is a vision I wanted to be associated with. In October 2008, Helen Zilla was elected as World Mayor of the Year in a poll of over 800 cities, testimony to a hands-on approach to service delivery. Her work as being the mayor of the city of Cape Town gave rise to the Democratic Alliance winning the province in 2009. And what that has meant is that we are able now to not talk about what the DA can do. We are able to show what the DA can achieve. And I think we must give credit to her for putting such a vibrant administration and a party in place. Helen led the rebranding and repositioning of the party in 2008 to demonstrate that the DA was a party for all South Africans, focused on delivering opportunity for all, capable of reaching South Africans in every city, town, village and farm. She was able to map out the direction that the party had to go in and then drive it with her incredible energy in that direction. She has made, you know, being part of the DA an attractive political option. Helen leaves to us a party that is infinitely more diverse. Not only diverse in terms of race, diverse in terms of talent, in terms of age, in terms of backgrounds. That legacy of making this party acceptable and be seen as a home to all South Africans is one of the biggest legacies that she's leaving behind. When Helen became leader, the DA had 1.9 million votes and was viewed purely as an opposition party. It now has over 4 million votes and has become a party of government. Any leader of the Democratic Alliance is ultimately measured by how much the party grows. And under her, we've grown exponentially. More than 4 million voters. That was unthinkable a couple of years ago. She has taken our party to a new height where we are not only in government in a number of different places, but we have diverse leadership, we have diverse support base. We are going to become the government of South Africa and she is the person that has laid the foundation to make that possible. This phenomenal growth over the past eight years has only been possible due to the hard work, visionary leadership and brand of Helen Zilla. She works harder than any of her staff put together. Every day from Monday to Sundays, she works, works and works. And she's imparted that to her team. 
She demands efficiency. She drives people hard. She often says I drove her as an editor. Perhaps I imparted some of that into her. I don't know. I think it's mostly in her genes. What she instills in public representatives is a sense of excellence and a sense of not being prepared to put up with second best. As Premier of the Western Cape, Helen has prioritised basic services for the poor, improved education for all, and has helped create the necessary enabling environment for job creation. Helen is definitely the people's Premier. People get really, really excited to see her. Throughout her term as Mayor and Premier and Leader of the DA, what Helen loved most was helping individual people in times of need and in times of crisis. Many people understand and know that her heart is in the right place. Helen could always be found, sometimes much to my great frustration, in the middle of a meeting, she was sitting on Twitter helping someone in a crisis that had called an ambulance and the ambulance hadn't rocked up or whose house was being uh, burgled or whatever the case was. She also would do crazy things at times, like if someone threw litter out of a car, she would stop and say, hey, you can't do that. Now, with, with, a, with a dedicated time to the next four years in the province, I think we're going to be able to lift the level of delivery and what this province does to new heights, and that really is going to be a second legacy that she's going to be able to leave. Long before the DA, Helen decided to dedicate her life to the pursuit of a free and fair South Africa with opportunity for all. A true patriot and leader. Helen started out in politics as an activist. The way she had performed during the struggle against apartheid, that same values, that same principles she actually brought into the fight for strengthening our democracy post-1994. Throughout my life and throughout her career, she has always emphasized a dedication to the truth. What I'm most proud of of my mother's achievements is probably one of the things that happened before I was even around was in the 70s when she was still working as a journalist for the Rand Daily Mail and she and her team there uncovered the truth regarding the death of Steve Beaker. Apartheid was a crime against humanity. Some people cared about it and they cared passionately about it. I was one, but Helen was a great one. She's often said to me, I really love my job in spite of working so terribly hard, and I say, why do you love it? She says, because it's so meaningful, because I feel I'm really making a contribution to this country. Helen Zilla is an iconic leader and an inspiration to many, but above all, she is a loving wife, mother, and friend. She's been an amazing person and an amazing friend. Now, whether she drifts out of politics, which I don't think she will do, she will remain a, one of my very closest friends. I've always seen Helen as a mother and a wife first before I saw her as the Premier and the DA leader. She loves her family very, very much. You always know that she is there to support. She will always make herself available. What's amazing is that she's always willing to drop whatever she's doing. She always prioritizes family first. On a personal level, what I think Helen has achieved, I first of all want to say the building of a family and producing two wonderful sons and that there's real love in this family. On behalf of all the staff of the Democratic Alliance, I'd like to say thank you, Helen, for the extraordinary work that you've done. You can be rest assured that you have made a massive contribution to the growth of the party and you have planted the seed for a whole lot of young people, including myself, to be involved in the DA. Thank you very sincerely uh, for giving up so much of your time and so much of your life. Thank you, thank you, thank you for what you have done for the DA for South Africa and for me personally. Thank you very much for all your contributions to the Democratic Alliance and to South Africa. Thank you very, very much, Helen, for this absolutely awesome opportunity to be part of your government, to be part of this grand plan for this amazing country of ours. Thank you. You have been really, really a very, very good friend and a very good leader. You've done great, girl. You really have done great and so has all your family. You have shown me so much of you and I'm grateful for that and I will cherish that forever. I love you. I just wanted to say that as a family, we are unbelievably proud of you. Congratulations, we're immensely proud. Uh, be strong and be happy. So I love you. Thank you for always being there for us. I'm extremely proud of what you have achieved 
But I also want to say this is not the end of the road yet. Neither you nor I knew that we would end up at such a glorious house as Leonhoff, you as Premier, and neither of us know where you are heading for still in future, but I'm sure it's for a great and meaningful role.